Um, the Texas Chainsaw Death Match, my friend. Um, where do we start with this? So, first off, let me just preface this by saying anyone, everyone's going to the Miz Zombies. Yeah, that was garbage too. No, it wasn't. This How was maybe you? you could argue this was maybe less garbage than that, but. I don't think so. And at least from a production standpoint, from someone who's done some time in editing and production, uh, this match Nothing, was atrocious. Nothing's, but... nothing's worse than the Mountain Dew match. Uh, that one was the worst. No, like, oh, well, people shit on that, but I... Yeah. Yeah, that one was maybe... No, nah, yeah. I don't know. I think I think ah, that's a toss-up for me. It's like yeah. they're, they're almost tied. Here's the one thing, though. I'll give you this. For all the people who shit on the Cinemoji when they talk about remember when uh wwe did a swerve they did like a beyblade brand integration where they put it on the titan tron during austin theory's entrance when everyone said oh they're burying theory and then theory theory won the match you know like that was a good swerve so people shat on that people shat on when wwe did the cinemoji or whatever at wrestlemania you guys a cinemoji mascot compared to what happened in this fucking match let's get fucking real now i put yeah, over <laughs> if you listen to old episodes i've put over when Tony Khan's done like, okay, Kong versus Godzilla's coming out and it's a Warner Bros. movie. And so we're going to do have Bear Country versus Jurassic Express and shit. I've put that over like, no, that's smart when they do that. When the elite did the Looney Tunes thing where they came dressed up like the Toon Squad, that was yeah, the space pushing jam. it. That was pushing it for space me. Jam. Yeah, that was pushing it. It's this so WCW. is peak Vince Russo. WCW two <laughs> thousands closing up shop going out of business. Jeff Jarrett's in a fucking match. Literally, literally, Jeff Jarrett was in this match. Okay, that's a fucking. This is this is like Vince is getting his checkbook ready, about to fucking consume all of this intellectual property. Here. <laughs> because, like, I'm not endeavors. Like, all right, how much? Uh, how much? Ari Emanuel's get right getting his checkbook ready because. This was just, I'm going to go through my notes here, but basically, dude, yes. The, okay. Let's just, I'm just going to go through my notes. Okay. I, I'm not going through spots. I'm not going through any of that. I'm just going to go through. I wrote Where this was- down as I go. So we come back to the ring and it's a Texas chainsaw massacre death match, right? In capital <laughs> letters, in capital letters, I wrote, what in the fuck? This is bad late WCW. Hey, hey, but- this is Russo WWCW. Yeah, I wrote in my notes. Literally, Jeff Jarrett was in the match. Jeff Hardy comes out. He then he immediately goes backstage for some reason. He comes to the ring. And then he's just like, <laughs> "No, I'm just going backstage." Jenny Hardy backstage. Okay. He's backstage going Hardy, Hardy. And, and I like, thought we were having this? an incident for a second, like what happened in WWE. I was like, "Is he just going through the crowd again and going home? Like, what the fuck?" <laughs> I wrote in my notes, I'm surprised Moxley didn't somehow talk his way into this match. I wrote <laughs> the lights. So <laughs> so Jeff Hardy goes backstage. They all get in a brawl and everyone starts brawling. <laughs> the lights are orange. Like it's like a knockoff shit version of the fiend. But you can't see anything. I have my shit. Yeah, I'm light. going into my settings was on my TV and turning it to max brightness. I can't even see shit. Okay. You can't see anything, and it's not even Halloween. And I get the brand integration. Have a Texas Chainsaw Death Match. Put two wrestlers from Texas in it, and fucking I don't have Jake the Snake come out or something. I don't even know if he's from Texas. But all I'm goddamn saying is like, have have cowboy shit be in a match, dude. Just what the fuck was this, bro? And like Jeff Hardy and 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 Jeff Jarrett. This couldn't be more TNA Dixie Carter taking advice from Vince Russo. WCW 2001. I write, they dump the fake blood on Jarrett. I write, this is terrible. There's 30 fucking guys brawling. You can't tell who's who. I I wrote, I guess here's some anarchy in the arena on Dynamite a week before anarchy in the arena at the all-in pay-per-view, which is supposed to be the biggest pay-per-view of the fucking, right? Like, who's? (laughs) True. Right? I wrote, this is Gaga trash garbage for babies. I wrote Leatherface comes out out of nowhere with skinny Leatherface chainsaw noise coming out of the arena and him pretending like I don't know what a real chainsaw looks like when it's turned on. <laughs> what the fuck? He chases <laughs> an angle off and like no one knows who's under, under the thing. I- I'm like stu- I'm like she, stumped, bro. She was a, no no she one was in knows the ring. Who's under the th- who who's 
who's under the mask, chases her off. Did he kill her? Did the cops come? Leatherface. Who was that? Yes. What what was the outcome of that? I get, oh, we (laughs) recreated the horror movie scene, like the slasher flick where she's covered in blood at the end and running away. How did Jeff Jarrett talk Karen Jarrett into getting a job? What the fuck is going on? And then... Tony's and Mark. And then Satnam Singh comes in and choke slams Hardy. They all pin him. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett gets a leather face belt. Like we need more belts in, in this company <laughs> for some, why this is no, this is like JCW. I was like, where's fucking hey. ICP? Are they going to come out and join the fray? And I wrote, Stop. and I wrote, imagine having a giant like Satnam Singh and using him like this in this capacity. <laughs> you, think You're about right. this. Think about the Indian population that there is in the UK. You're doing a big show in London. You have a giant yeah, fucking no Satnam Singh, and he's not in a huge marquee match like against your world champ, against doing some like a moment, create a fucking legendary moment with Punk, where like Punk overcomes the giant and fucking all in in London, brother, in front of 80,000 in the Silver Dome. Like, you guys need to get your heads out of your fucking asses. And also, at the end of this match, Taz summed it all up for me. And I'm going to put Taz over here because he's as fed up with this shit as I am. Taz summed it up. And right when all of this ends and then he's got the belt and everyone's quiet and it's about to cut out, Taz goes, well, that was something. (laughs) And then they go to commercial break. (laughs) And I just went, yeah. Uh... (laughs) So I don't know. I I, I gave up on the show at this point. I did watch the rest, but I and I have more notes. But this was just utterly atrocious hairline. Give me your thoughts on this whole debauchery and shout out Taz because I we'd be homies. I know we would. And you and Hook deserve better. Sorry. Go ahead, hairline. This shit was out of control. (laughs) What was the lighting? What the fuck was the lighting? They didn't yes like, or no, could you see anything? Am I just talking out of my ass? Nothing. Like From a production standpoint, Nothing. you don't use orange lights, bro. Well, no, you can use them, but like you should like have things like fucking... With a spotlight like mixed splashing. in, bro. You yeah. need Yeah, you need yeah, something mixed in lights. there to enhance yeah, yeah, yeah. the... the uh, I don't know. It was just so bad. It was like, okay, so you're trying well, to be great. Bray Wyatt. Have you ever seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Usually, there's he's running around in the daytime. With a chainsaw in all do, every movie, there's a daytime scene. Sorry, go ahead. As a horror mark, I do think Karen Jarrett watched some tape. You know what I'm saying? She definitely watched some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, okay, are we gonna break down fucking... work? Oh, does Jeff Hardy do good dives? Yeah, he's the best. Does does uh Jeff Jarrett sell? Can Karen Jarrett sell? And and like you said, does she look like she did her homework and they and they plan this out like that? Yes. I'm never going to go, Jeff Jarrett can't work. Does he lay his punches in? But what was the work in this? Matt Hardy dumping a bucket of blood on a bitch? What the fuck are we doing, bro? Go ahead. I'm so sorry. And then he tweeted out, no, no, before you go on, Matt Hardy tweeted out, oh, it's been it's been 20 years since I've brood blooded a bitch or some shit. Man, shut the fuck up. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, trash. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> Leatherface lost a lot of weight. He's uh, he probably switched to vegan. Most likely is what happened. Taz, definitely not having a good time, but no. I don't know, man. I think you're right, bro. Wembley is that's it. We just we hit the fucking uh the descent, you know. Yeah. This dude. was it. What do you think like the descent beginning was for WCW? What do people consider it as? The beginning of the end. Probably Bash at the Beach two thousand. Or it's like it's just done. Well, like we're when it when Nash laid down. Or Hogan, the finger poke of doom. Yeah, maybe that was the beginning of the end. Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah, dude, this is like we're getting a finger poke of fucking doom level. What if that's what happens at Wembley and Cole and MJF fucking one great. of them lays down? Ooh, 